This is a collage of people of different ages, genders, and backgrounds. All of these people have one thing in common. None of them exist in real life. They've all been created by an artificial intelligence program. Today I'm going to be using the same technology to transform animated characters into realistic portraits, and we'll be testing it out on the latest Pixar movie, Turning Red. Let's get started. It's gonna be me. This video was inspired by the work of several digital artists who use AI imaging technology to bring characters to life. The main technology used is a neural network called StyleGAN. It is a generative adversarial network that is trained on large datasets of images. So in the case of portraits, if you feed it enough pictures of people's faces, it will start recognizing patterns and learning rules for what makes a believable face and what doesn't. Then it will be able to make its own faces from a text or image prompt. With Turning Red, I will be using pictures of the characters as prompts. Luckily, someone has put StyleGAN processing on a website, so it's just a simple matter of uploading an image and letting it work. So let's upload a picture of the main character, May, and see what happens. Consider this a starting point. The artists I mentioned earlier use other tools to refine their work, such as FaceApp, which allows you to edit specific features of a face and also morph two faces into one. So what other options do we have? Well, the facemorph.me website uses the E4E encoder. There is another encoder called Pixel2Style2Pixel, or PSP, which may provide better results. However, it's not hosted on any website as far as I know, so you have to do a bit more digging into the code. In order to improve this image, what I'm going to do is process it again using PSP, and then combine the two images in FaceApp and do some edits. So I'm going to open the source code notebook for PSP in Google Colab. There will be a link to this in the description. Essentially, what you want to do is click the play buttons on this page in sequential order to execute the code. When you get to experiment type, you want to select FFHQ and code. And then keep clicking until you get to visualize input. Once we get to visualize input, we have to upload our input image. So click on the file folder on the left sidebar. And you'll find there's already a stock input image in the notebooks images folder. We want to replace it, so delete the stock one. Then go to your input image file and change its name to input underscore img dot jpeg. Well, if it's already a JPEG, you don't have to type it again. And then drag and drop this file into the images folder. Now just continue clicking the uh, run or play buttons. And when you reach the visualize results section, you'll be able to see the final image. And there we have it. As you can see, it still needs some work. So I'm going to take an upscaled version of this image to face up. Now I can combine the two images using the morph tool and then make individual edits to the face to approximate the original reference image.
arrive at a more accurate version of real life me. Now in most cases, the face morph website will be enough, but I just wanted to show you some of the things you can do if your output image needs refinement. In any case, let's see how all of the characters stack up. Well, there you go. Which one do you think is the most faithful recreation? Let me know in the comments below. This is a very powerful technology, which can be easily abused. If you're interested in the ethics of artificial intelligence, I made a video about a photographer who fooled his colleagues using a fake online persona with an AI-generated profile pic. And you can find that video right here.